Hi guys, welcome to another canal walk video. It's a very, very bright day, and as you can see, I'm at the River Trent, and it is in flood. Now we've got the Arrowwash Canal there. We've got the Trent that way towards Sawley. In that direction, we've got the River Saw, and then we've got the Cranfleet Cut, which heads off towards Beeston and Nottingham. So in this video, we are going to take the Cranfleet Cut, and we're going to head on off towards Attenborough. So if I show you this map exactly where we are, so I'm stood right there. So there's the Cranfleet Cut heading off towards Nottingham, We've got the River Saw, the power station is around there, and there's the Trent off to Sawley Marina. So I hope you're going to join me. As I say, I've just this morning actually filmed and walked the Arrowwash Canal, and um, I noticed that the River Arrowwash was ooh, that far away from going over the edge and bursting its banks. So I expect to see quite a lot of um, water down at the Trent. So here we are, we've got, join me along here. We've got Ratcliffe Power Station over there and the Trent Valley Sailing Club and quite a lot of puddles. Okay, just a short walk of about three and a half to four miles today, and we're starting down here at the point where the River Trent, Arrowwash Canal, and Cranfleet Cut they all meet, and so does the River Saw, but it doesn't quite make it to the location where I'm starting at. So we're going to head along east towards Attenborough and journey along the River Trent as soon as we leave the Cranfleet Cut. Zooming into our starting location, you can see where the Cranfleet Cut heads off east and the River Trent bypasses the Cranfleet Cut, heads onto the Midland Mainline Railway line where the River Store joins on just down there and then it meets up again just a little while later on. A little further down and we twist and turn further along the River Trent before meeting the point we meet up with Attenborough Nature Reserve where we'll walk through a little way and complete this little journey today. So as you can see right here, the water is over the edge of the canal and it's flowing in that direction, over there. But as you head on off down there, you've got the River Trent coming in in this direction. It meets in the middle and it's quite a swirly... Oh, it's very, it's very bad. I think if you fell in there, you'd be struggling. And the excess water is all heading off down there, quite a torrent. And round the back there, you've got a weir, which will take the bulk of this water. And also you've got the floodplains over there. Now, this afternoon, we're expecting quite a lot of rain, a lot more overnight, and right through towards, it's tomorrow is October the 1st, so it's Tuesday tomorrow. Expecting a hell of a lot of rain then. I wouldn't be surprised to see this all actually burst its bangs at some point and go over the top. I mean, you wouldn't think we would have had all this rain when you look at the weather, and you wouldn't think we've got a load more rain coming. It's just a little window of opportunity on this um, bright autumn Monday morning to actually come out and enjoy it and see it from a different perspective. As you can see down there, the water is still over the edge of the canal. I remember, I think it was in the floods of 2000 where all this actually got submerged, the towpath. Okay, so that's the uh, Midland Main Line between Derby, Nottingham and London. And you've just seen a service coming from London and it's heading off towards Derby and probably Sheffield too. Now I'm not sure if here you can actually see the different heights in water, but you can see that side is much lower than that side. So these stop locks are helping maintain the normal water level on this side of the Cranfleet Cut towards Attenborough and Beeston.
Okay, so we've now left the Cram Fleet cut behind and we're now back with a rather raging River Trent. So at this point you can really see the River Trent in all its rage. It's a long, long way above normal levels and um, it is at red so as not to allow any kind of boat passage along here whatsoever. So that's warning level red. Now I've not really shown you much or said anything for a while. Well, it's straight away on the video, but I've walked about a mile or so and it's pretty much just been like this. So the, the river's edge is beyond those trees there and that's how it's been for about the last mile, mile and a half. And even after doing all that distance so far, we've still got Ratcliffe's tall chimney from the power station. Uh, that's about three miles away. So a little close to the River Trent now, a bit of an opening in the um, trees and bushes. On the other side, I don't know if you can see it yet. Now that's a man-made lake. And we're going to see a few more of them later on as we get closer to Attenborough Nature Reserve. So at this point, it's like we're just going in one big circle. So we've still got Ratcliffe Power Station on the horizon there. And there's that lake I was telling you about. And the railway's over there as well. I don't know if you can really see that, but there's a, there's a cruiser boat just there. And its nose is buried in those trees there. Now, considering the water's a couple of metres higher than it usually would be, it's a bit of a concern. Hope they're okay. Okay, I've had a look. The boat is just there. It does appear to be kind of tied up, but not very good. So, clearly people are aware that it's there. So there's another one of those nature reserve lakes. And there's all manner of wildlife on there. Moorens, ducks, geese, swans, cormorants. Absolutely beautiful. I expect there's so much more. So there's that uh, man-made lake I was telling you about. If you can see down there, there's a lot of water gushing in. And this is going to be a lot higher than it usually is. So if we take a look the other side, you've got the Trent there. And the, the flow of the water there is, is unbelievably fast. I think if you was riding a bike along here, you wouldn't be able to keep up with it. So in reference to Ratcliffe Power Station, where it was over there and over there, it is now over there. That just shows you how twisty this river can be. abandoned uh, probably been flooded once too many times it looked a bit um, rough around the edges could be made to look beautiful again I suppose So at this point, that's it. Bid farewell to the River Trent and its floodwaters. Um, you know, beautiful, peaceful location. At the same time, all the brambles and bushes. Um, not a great deal to see at times, but still, it's beautiful nonetheless. Uh, we're back on there in a few weeks, probably, probably about November time. 
uh, got a few other things planned for October. So, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again. Take care. Bye bye.